Hi, I'm John Molesky, host of Dialogue, a production of the Woodrow Wilson Center. We're on the set of Dialogue, where we just completed a taping with Pam Constable, a reporter for the Washington Post, who also is the author of this book, Playing with Fire, Pakistan at War with Itself. I want to ask you a couple things, Pam, I didn't get to ask you during our, our Dialogue discussion. One is how you became interested in this region of the world and in this particular country. Uh, it was almost by accident, really. Um, I, my ex area of expertise and, and work for many years was Latin America. I mean, I, I'd spent... wrote a book on Chile. I wrote a book on Chile, co-authored a book on Chile, uh, and had been working in that region for, you know, better part of 13 years. Um, and then just by accident, essentially, uh, I got sent out to, um, to India. Uh, in 1998 because the correspondent there was sick and so they asked me to fill in essentially uh, and and of course I fell in love with the place and 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 was delighted to to go back there permanently and um, but actually you know as as soon as I got to India thinking I was going to be living and working in it in a large uh, democratic uh, fascinating uh, country um, uh, immediately things started blowing up uh, in Pakistan and Afghanistan so I got sent up there very very quickly I mean as I say in my previous book I never even unpacked uh, in New Delhi um, because I, I with literally within a week um, was when um, the United States bombed um, some uh, militant training camps in um, in Afghanistan mm -hmm. in 1998 which were some of those that had been funded by Osama bin Laden uh, so I mean I just hit the ground running and just spent um, essentially most of the next uh, 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 decade um, commuting between Islamabad and and, and Kabul and um, and Pakistan I mean it was a, it's a fascinating country it's it's um, much more complicated country. You know, Afghanistan is, is uh, you know, is a, is, a, is a warrior country where, you know, everything is pretty much black and white. Either you're a friend or an enemy. But in Pakistan, it's a much more subtle, nuanced, uh, murky place. Uh, What's most misunderstood about Pakistan? Um, you know, it's a bit of a contrivance to ask you one thing, but what, what association do you have with that, Nasha? I mean... I mean, I guess as I as I as I were saying in, in the previous uh, taped interview, you know, people people in the West probably have a much more narrow uh, idea of Pakistan. You know, people ask me, oh, isn't it how isn't it dangerous? How can you even go there? And I say, well, which which part of Pakistan are you talking about? You can go to the tribal area go near to the border Stan or go to the and capital get, city. get killed by the Taliban, or you can go to Karachi and think you're in New York City. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's it's one of the most diverse societies I've ever been in, mm -hmm. um, and so um, you can sort of. Um, uh, you could you could answer that question ten different ways. Well, you answer it in many ways in the book, <laughs> and that's where we'll leave it for people. Who, uh, two options for those of you who are intrigued by what Pam has to say. One is to buy and read the book, and another, and they're not mutually exclusive, is to come to our website, uh, look on the tab that says TV and radio, click through, and you can find your way to the complete 30-minute dialogue interview. Thanks.